Hey guys, it's me, Lone Wolf SES. We're back with some SSX. I'm really not playing it right now, but um, I am recording it like um, I'm narrating right now because uh, I'll tell you after this little cutscene right here. No snowboard trip around the world would be complete without a stop in Antarctica. It's the coldest and most desolate place on Earth. A frozen white desert where sunlight is everything's best friend. Moby Jones, you're up. Now, you've been trained for exactly these kinds of conditions. So when I tell you the temperatures drop 40 degrees in one second from sunlight to shade, you know that staying in the sun is the only option. This place is a maze of paths, and it's littered with ice tunnels and crevasses, just waiting to swallow you up. The frozen and forgotten ships and abandoned weather stations should remind you of that as you make your way through this region towards the prize of Mount Slime. The cold weather suit you've been kitted out with will go a long way towards keeping you safe from the worst this place has to offer. Okay, now that that cutscene's out. Like, I'm narrating right now because, um, my program that I was using to record my voice at the same time, like, it was still the same program because the program I was using let me record and I could talk. But the new program I'm using, I can't talk on it for some reason. I can talk, but for some reason it won't let me use my, my, my audio splitter where I put a USB into my computer and put my uh, my mic and stuff into it. Like it won't let me use that for some reason. And uh, that's, that's why I'm narrating right now, but the program records pretty well. Like it records the game practically perfectly. Not good quality though, but at least it doesn't lag or you can't see anything what's going on, so. That's a good thing, right? And, uh, what else? I will be going to... Back to my old Let's Play so I can finish them, like Metal Gear Solid 4. And, uh... Go back to, uh... Hmm, what's it called? Sonic Unleash. I'm trying to remember the games I still need to go back and do. And I think that's pretty much it for now. I think only those games. And I might upload another game maybe because uh I want to upload a uh, Modern Warfare 3 like but before I upload that I just ordered a game from Amazon and I'm getting a uh, Call of Duty 4 the first Modern Warfare and I really love that game because that was where it was still the game was still good because for some reason, when the Call of Duty got to Black Ops 2, yeah, I think it's when it got to Black Ops 2, that's when it started getting ridiculous. Because they started wanting more money and stuff, like they just wanted to put camo, worthless camo, and DLC and stuff. They stopped caring about the gameplay. Like, Call of Duty 4, I don't think it had any DLC or anything, so it was just the game itself. And the map was, they had, it was, it was just a very good game, like, you can play it, enjoy it, like, it was just like that, like, all the guns were kind of even, like, you can pick any gun and you'll practically be okay with it, but in the new Call of Duty, it's all about, like, one gun or two guns that are actually better than the rest, like, I don't know why they did that, and there's so many glitches in the Call of Duty now, like, for real, the online's not worth it anymore. And then after you buy the game, they expect you to pay more money for more worthless stuff. Like, they just want you to spend more money on stuff just to play the game. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, you already paid $60 to straight up, uh, play the game. Like, you actually paid $60 just to get the game, and then they're just like, oh, spend more money. So you just put the DLC out and stuff. Like really? And then they put all this worthless stuff in the game. Like flat jacket. They say flat jacket was supposed to protect you from explosions and stuff like grenades, C4, grenade launch. Supposed to make you not die. But then they chose to do the dumbest idea saying 
put on um, they put on danger cloak. You know what that does? That makes you die from any kind of grenade. Like it makes the grenade a lot stronger and the C4. Anything that's explosive, it will make it a lot stronger. And that's stupid because what it does, people might be thinking like, oh, it's cool, but it's really not. Because uh, flat jacket doesn't work. You have that on. Like, flat jacket, for some reason, danger close will instantly kill you even though you have flat jacket on. So it's goofy. Like, since, uh, like Black Ops 2, the flat jacket actually worked. But that was the last time the flat jacket actually worked. Like, when those came out, that's when they invented make your explosions a lot more damage. I mean, make your, your explosives a lot more powerful. I forget what it was called on those, but it made your explosives a lot more damaging. So everybody was running around with C4 and grenade launchers because it could kill you. Even though you have flat jacket, like people would just run up and shoot a grenade launcher at you or RPG. I really, I can get why an RPG would kill you, but grenade launchers and regular old grenades and uh, C4. And secondly, you throw the C4 fast. It's not like you throw it slow. You throw it fast, and that's pretty much dumb. If you could just throw it so fast that it would just straight up get the person. That's just stupid. Like, don't be making, like, stupid perks. Like, they made, like, Ghost on Flat Jacket. Like, on Ghost, the Flat Jacket does not work at all. Even if you put it on, the C4 practically almost kills you. Like, you're pretty much red. In Black Ops 2, if you get hit with a C4 and you have Flat Jacket on, you only take half of the damage. So you'll pretty much be able to still kill somebody if somebody ran up on you. You would be perfectly fine still. But on Ghost, you just die. Like, people would put on that extra damage on their explosion, and they'll just run around with C4 all day. Like, you won't ever see nobody using a gun mostly if they could just run in and throw C4 at you and kill you. So it's kind of stupid. Like, really. Like, at least keep flat jacket. Like, never, never put a perk that counters another perk. Because that's exactly what it does, because it counters flat jacket, because even though you have flat jacket on, you're still gonna die by explosion. So it's like, why not? I'm not even gonna put it on if I'm gonna die anyway. And people would be like, oh, you might get lucky and survive. No, you still die. You still die if you run away, you still die if you're just close to it, you still die. It's just like that. And it's just dumb. I still play it because I play this game, like, I play Call of Duty games so I can get better at it. Like, I, I want to be, like, I don't want to be the best player in it, because I'm pretty sure I'm not the best, but I want to be good enough to take on the best. Like, that's how some people want to play. Like, I don't cheat on Call of Duty either, I don't cheat on Call of Duty. And, um, you might see a slight cut because I lose this race, spoiler alert, I lose this race. So that's why I'm gonna cut it, because it's just a waste of time. So I'm gonna stop talking for a minute and actually cut the video, so I'll, I'll see y'all right back. Okay, we're back. Okay, so, um, yeah, on this one, like, I don't, I think I went on this one, I'm not. I'm not sure, I recorded this one from another way. But, what takes me a, an extra time, like, why I won't spam videos anymore is because, um, right when I re the problem with my new recording thing is that it records and stuff, but I can't edit it in Movie Maker. And I can't edit it on the program because the program is a little bit buggy and not very good. So I don't edit it on there. So, hold on, let me turn something on. Okay, that makes it a lot better, but, um, the only reason I don't like, wait, what am I talking about here? But, uh, what was that? Oh, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> After I drank that water, I was like, ooh. 
<laughs> I feel a lot better now. But um, it's, I would say this game is good, but um, there are slight problems when you get later on to, into the game. Like mostly when you're versing the computers, some of the computers are tiered because they would do a lot more better than the rest of them, like way better. Even two of them or three of them would do a lot better than you. Like they'll get a lot more score. Like at the beginning of the game, they actually get 6,000, like I think it's 60,000 just when they start. And you don't, they don't even do a big trick. They'll just do a tiny, tiny trick and they'll just start out with 60,000. I don't get that. Like, it's that mercy for the computer so you won't kick your butt so bad. And the secret of getting good tricks and stuff is to uh, kind of try and keep doing tricks. Like, try and keep doing your tricks just to keep your tricky because if you do tricks, your tricky won't leave you. Like, you'll never lose your tricky if you keep doing the trick. And plus, if you hold the square button while you're just on the ground, you won't lose your trippy from that either. So it's just, you see what I'm doing right now? You won't lose your trippy if you keep doing that. So, and also if you keep your trippy, you get a bonus at the end of the game. And you get mostly full, you mostly get all your points and your combos and stuff get added up. Like sometimes you'll just see me doing random tricks and stuff just so I can keep it tricky. Because when you get to the end of the game, and they count all your combos and stuff. Your combo really doesn't run out until you do the same trick twice or you you lose your tricky. So if you keep keep your tricky good you'll mostly keep your combo and you'll get a lot of points at the end but sometimes even though you can try your best you can try and do as much tricks as you can but sometimes the computers will practically always beat you. So sometimes you just gotta take second place or third place. If you're one of those pros who just want to get a 100% then you'll have to actually try and beat those guys and you might beat her for a while because sometimes they do bad super bad and sometimes they do practically very good and they'll just kick your butt and you wouldn't even stand a chance so that's a problem too but other than that the game is very good I love playing it I was happy to get this game some of the music I like in this game, some of them, but not all of them. The rewind is mostly the helpfulest thing, but it is busted sometimes because when you rewind, sometimes your dude will still do the trick that made you uh, get hurt. So it's still jacked up a bit. But it's still helpful. I would say the races are kind of okay. But sometimes they're just goofy because sometimes the computers which have OP equipment will have better boards than you that practically beat your board automatically. Like sometimes that's not fair if you, they get a better board than you. And look what happened right there. Look what happened right there. I fell in a gap. I'm like, okay, I fell in a gap. Whatever, maybe I can still be one. Like mostly when you fall in the gap, you're just like, okay, and then I fell in another gap. Well, I thought it was a gap. Look, I thought it was a gap, and I was like, oh, there's a gap. Did I try and fix it? Almost did it again, but I survived. Then I got jacked up again. Like, this is a race right now. I'm trying to race them. I'm not trying to do tricks, but I'm trying to get my tricky up. Because if you get the tricky up, you practically get a little bit of boost. Yeah, I messed it up right there. Rewind, try and fix it. Look. Try and fix it up. But I use like three rewinds. You get a certain amount of rewinds before you actually get no more. Got my tricky back. Trying to do more tricky. Tricks so I can get my tricky so I can just start boosting. That's, that's mostly the thing you want to do. Like, it might be a race, but doing tricks helps you get your tricky and just have that limited boost to dash by everybody. I'm trying to keep up with the guy, but I'm failing. Yeah, I finally catch up to him a bit. Like, I caught up to him. I'm like, yes! 
again, I kind of lost all my sprint right here. I mean, all my boost, so I slowly started slowing down. But then that happened. You know what happened right there? I scratched the wall while I was holding the square button. Because if you hold the same button that you already pressed doing the trick, they'll count as a. I don't know what they count it, but they don't give you as much points for doing the trick twice. So, what happened around that corner is that I scratched the wall and it stopped my trick, but I didn't know that. So I tried to fix it. And I did it again, but I did the same trick. I shouldn't have did that last trick. Yeah, I try and catch up. And then I got stuck right here. You see what's going on right here? Stupid self. Then he passed me. Then I ran out of stuff. So he was like in front of me right now. I'm trying to do tricks and you see the end right there? Yeah, he beat me because of that stupid little thing that happened. That made me mad as crap because I was hoping to finish the video right there. Then I had to play a little longer. So now that you know the whole level and stuff, I'm not really going to show you me doing it again. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to skip that. Okay, prepare for another cut. Hey guys, I'm back. Actually, I'm back. Like, I had to cut that part because, uh, if I didn't cut that, this whole video would be like 20 minutes or 25 minutes long, and I don't want to make it too long. Like, some videos I don't want to make too long, but sometimes I just fail, and I gotta redo it. This time I was actually doing good. Because I remembered all my gaps, because there's so many gaps in this level where you fall through the ground. I mean, fall into those tiny cracks that you wouldn't expect to fall through. And a victory. And it's the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will try and upload... I will try and upload not as fast as I used to, like video after video, but I will do it like good enough where I can finish the let's play because I want to finish my let's play so I can start something, something else. But I will be doing another let's play. I don't know what. I might put a straw poll for y'all to do. Like I might do that and let y'all straw poll what game I'm going to pick next. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you in the next video, so I hope you enjoyed and stay cool.